Post a job that gets results. Posting a job in Connecting Colorado. To encourage the best qualified candidates to apply, make sure you provide as much information as you can when posting a job. Step 1. Job Title. For the job title, list the occupation of the position. For example, administrative assistant, software engineer, or truck driver. Please limit your job title to two or three words. If you have questions about the job title, contact your local workforce center. Step 2. Job Description. This is your opportunity to provide as much detailed information as possible and clarify any minimum qualifications or expectations about the job in order to motivate the most qualified candidates to apply. This text box is your chance to describe your open position, the culture of your organization, and the type of candidate that would be the best fit for your position. Include any required and preferred skills and abilities. For example, do they have to be bilingual or are there traveling requirements? Consider including any duties. What will the applicant be doing on a day-to-day -day basis? What type of equipment is used? Is the work environment indoors or outdoors? Are there physical tasks? For benefits, go beyond describing health, dental, vision, vacation, and retirement and include if there is a flexible schedule or any other attractive benefits you may offer. Be exciting! Step 3. Job Requirements The fields with asterisks are required and must be completed to post the job. Include the skills, knowledge, and abilities a candidate needs to perform the job successfully. Be sure that the information is consistent and clear. For example, if you list the job requires 40 hours, then this should match any details you list in the job description box as well. Many candidates search positions by wage. We strongly encourage you to post your wage range. However, if you choose not to, you must post the minimum wage and check the or maximum pay is negotiable box. This will list the wage as negotiable and may reduce the number of candidates that view your position. Include the minimum education needed. Are there licensing requirements? Step 4. Application Process Specify how you would like candidates to apply. You can ask applicants to apply online, in person, by phone, email, or at your local workforce center. Regardless of what you choose, make sure your contact information, website, and email are accurate. Step 5. When does my job post? When can I search for applicants? Your local workforce center will review and approve your position. Once it's approved, your position is placed on veterans hold which allows our veterans to view the job first. After that, you can search applicants and view their information. If you have any questions about posting a job or screening applicants, your local workforce center can help.